Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about a couple of things. Number one, uh, let, let's talk a little bit about a little bit about Trump. And I know that's a sore spot with y'all, but uh, for those of you who watch me, you either believe me in my opinion or you don't believe me. And I am telling you that I'm a psychic. Okay, and I do psychic stuff more than anybody knows, okay? And I am telling you to um, kind of consider leaning your energy towards Trump, will you? You'll do yourself a big favor, really. If I could see him and I had anything, and you guys know my history. If he had a bad history, um, I'd be the first one to tell you, and I'm like way jumpy about that sort of thing. And I'm telling you, you will do yourself no favors by by fighting that energy. And yes, I know that he's a narcissistic, arrogant guy who has no filter. But to me, that's amazing that anybody even says those words. Because every single person who not only runs for president of the United States, but considers running for president of the United States, all of them, any of them, I would absolutely classify as arrogant and narcissistic. Otherwise, how could you even consider being the leader of one of the greatest countries on the planet, the whole planet, okay? Of course he is, but that's what we need right now. And if you understood what is getting ready to happen and what is happening right now with this virus being everywhere and that things have to be run differently, then exactly what we need is an exceptionally good businessman. Then maybe you'll understand why, Hello, Moto. why, um, why I was, it was so important to go that route, to be on timelines with him. Now, if y'all, are going to argue whether or not you want to go to dinner with him, whether you want him to be your best friend. No, of course not. But that's not what's important right now. I'm just telling you that, of course, it's always your choice as to what timelines to choose. But the more you lean into his business side, ignore the rest of it. Just ignore the rest of it. You can't argue that the man is a good businessman. And what people don't understand is nobody saw him coming, okay? Okay. This guy has been doing business around the world for decades. He knows all of the people in all of these countries, right? And he didn't do it from the standpoint of being a politician someday. He just did good business. So he's got a lot of information about all of these countries, all of these people, all around the world. That's the important part. You're not going to get... A president that you like. If you knew the truth about all of these people, uh, you would be throwing a big old fit. But right now, with the world changing and all of these systems having to be rebooted and put into a place in a different way, a businessman is exactly what we need, and everyone's watching him. So it's not very. It's not just important for the United States. It's important for the planet. And I'm telling you, if you believe anything that I've ever said, understand this. That for the rebooting of this planet, to get on the Gaian energies that she wants, he is the best vibration that we could have. And there's a reason for that. So you need to understand that. The rest of it is insignificant. It really is insignificant. It's not the important part. So you need to look at it from a bigger perspective, much bigger perspective, on a planetary perspective, okay? So let's go over something else that I want you all to think about. Have you noticed that, what if we were like, um, I guess had a million cases and 100,000 people dead? Have you all noticed how small a percentage, I think Stephanie's only found one kid that has died one out of a hundred thousand deaths and that's about the percentage that i would expect because the prisms are not being affected by this 
Anybody notice that? Now, according to them, this is in a, a disease based on immune system, right? That they told you old people and young people are at risk because it's an it, it's a it's a disease that's going to affect people with poor immunities, right? Well, then why aren't all, all the kids dead? Where are all the dead babies? There aren't any. It's because they've got it wrong. They've got where it came from wrong. They've got how it works wrong. Now, remember what I've told you before, that you can create backwards as easily as you can create forward. So what they will do is they will start looking for a way that it's working and a where it came from. They'll like scream at each other and blame each other. But the truth is that I think maybe there's a small group of people that have actually figured it out. Uh, I don't think anybody's listening to them, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter where it came from. Um, how it works, they've got way wrong. But they can absolutely create a pass where they can make it be from a certain country, a certain company, a certain way. They can also make it be, uh, it run a certain way. But that will not negate the way that it originally got here, and it will not negate the original virus, okay? It will just create more viruses is what it will create, more what they will call, um, what will they call it? Like strains, different strains. That's what. That's how they'll see it. So they'll find a strain, and they'll be able to match that story with the strain, but it's only creating more strains. Like I said... This was never put into place. Gaia never put it in place to wipe out humanity. If she wanted to wipe out humanity, she could do it much faster, much easier than this. Okay? If she wanted that done, she could have done it. It's put into place to force people to choose which vibration they're going on. So those that were in deep fear have already come, become NPCs. These are the people around you. You can usually tell who they are because they have a very flat effect. effect. They're very robotic. Um, other than that, it, it, they're pretty easy to spot. Anyway, they are for me. I don't know. I'll bet they are for you guys, too, if you would just look for it. And those aren't people that you want to have long, in-depth conversations with because there's not much of their consciousness that's left on the planet. And there are percentages... Of consciousness so it's not just okay we become an NPC so 90% of the consciousness went to another body on another alternate earth or on another planet and 10% is left no it doesn't work like that depending upon the individual they might have as little as 0.5% consciousness left and they are very flat effect those people are usually people that have no family no friends and very simple jobs, very, very simple jobs that are necessary to run society, but not necessary for much of anything else. So they can afford to pull quite a bit of percentage of their consciousness out of their body to run the body here and make everything run the way it's, without freaking everybody out. Because it was never the intention to clear humanity off of the planet. So the, the society still needs to go on. It just needs to be a, a big reboot on how it's done. So you're going to see things like manufacturing companies and things that are sold between countries and money change. All of this is going to change. And a new serious spike in creativity. Um, a new refocusing. Stephanie said that suicides are way up, that divorce is way up. And that's exactly what it was meant to do, was to make people focus and find out, um, do they have the job that they really want to have? Can they do something else? Is this the person that they want to live with and uh, continue to have a family with? All of those kind of things. Is this the product that we want to buy? Is this the country that we want to interact with? Um, how did, how did your town or your city fare? Is that the way you want to continue? Where are the, 
weaknesses when something like this happens and how can we correct it? What was the good things that came out of this? What are the bad things? How do we improve the good things and how do we get rid of the bad things? There was a lot of like um, with police officers, huge, huge thing in police officers where the police officer said we're not going to uh, arrest our people in the United States. That's what happened anyway. And this was very much with, I'm pretty sure I said a while back, that people were going to put down their guns. You know, the military and the police officers were going to put down their guns. And that's basically what has happened here where the there are, this is very, very true, that there are police officers that um, enforce by the letter of the law and there are police officers that enforce with the spirit of the law and the ones that are spirit the oath keepers the ones that are constitutionalists they're the ones that have said no we're not doing this this isn't right and this has been very 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 obvious so you look at those kind of things and understand that these things are all being clarified and you can see this as a as a negative or a positive, I see it as a huge positive, huge positive. Uh, of course, I'm not ever going to be upset at death because I died, and it's wonderful over there, so there's no reason to be sad over anybody who's died. I certainly feel a lot more about the people who have survived the illness and have a lot of lung damage because of it, uh, but it, that is the choice that they made, and most of them are NPCing out anyway. So it's not really that relevant. For the rest of the planet, the vibrations that were being held in check, kind of like a hamster on a hamster wheel, uh, pretty much the hamster wheel has been knocked over. So what is done at that point afterwards is up to the people. And certainly... All kinds of systems that were in place are being questioned, reevaluated, and looked at to be done differently. So have fun with it. Step up, find a place that you fit where you can completely change things. This is the time to completely change things. Now's your opening. You asked for it, you wanted it, it's here, it's now. So you can whine and complain about what has happened, or you can look at it as the biggest option to change on the planet that's ever ever been afforded and which way you choose it to to go with it is totally up to you me i'm going with the positive route here okay all right that's it for me guys i'll talk to you later love you bunches bye now